Hi, thank you so much for coming today to talk about the Rainbow Center. Um, could you give us a little information about how you got started getting involved with the Rainbow Center? Yeah, sure. My memory is a little foggy, so years may be off. But the Rainbow Center started in um, September of 1997, as I recall, at an event in Wright Park, which may have been one of the early Pride Festivals. Uh, Karen Anderson, who was one of the founders, and, and her partner Miriam Handler, uh, and I were talking about the Rainbow Center, and um, Karen invited me to join the board, which I happily did. And uh, so that's how I got involved. And we had we had a very interesting board and great ideas about what could be done in Tacoma, what was needed in Tacoma, and that was pretty exciting for me. So uh, so I came on board. Pierce County AIDS Foundation had sponsored the first, maybe the first two Pride Festivals. Um, the first one was at UPS, and there were about 300 people, that's how big it was. Jeannie Darneal, who was then Executive Director, said to me, you know, I think it's time for the people in your part of the community to step up because one old straight lady doing all this work probably isn't going to work forever. I shouldn't call her old, she would. <laughs> but, uh, It'd be amazing to know this year we had 8,000 people. Yeah, so uh, Charles Fan was on the Rainbow Center board and he and I talked afterward and because there was nobody else to, to take it on, you know, it was like First Time AIDS Foundation and Tacoma Lesbian Concern were the two kind of motherships of all the other organizations that were trying to, to form at that time. Uh, so we decided that we would take it on. So basically the Rainbow Center became the first LGBT organization to take on the Pride Festival in Tacoma. So Charles and I went to work and we got a, a group of people, formed a committee, and uh, from 2000 on, it became out in the park. It was a great deal of work and, and a huge amount of fun. What other things have you seen the Rainbow Center do? What do you feel like oh, they bring? Goodness. You know, working with Oasis Youth Center has been a, a major part of Rainbow Center, I think, since it started. And uh, that's another organization that's very dear to my heart. Uh, pulling together some of the other organizations, uh, uh, for example, uh, transgender uh, people who came to the Rainbow Center. Until I, until I volunteered to answer phones on week and afternoons at the Rainbow Center, when we were in that little office about this size down at the United Way building, I didn't know that I had ever met a person who had male to female, female to male, and then suddenly I realized that there are a whole bunch of people in our community who happen to be born with a body that didn't quite fit their gender, and uh, so when people would call pulling resources together for people, I mean, it, it was amazing how many phone calls we got. I was, I was surprised how many people called asking for various kinds of resources. And of course, then that's the opportunity for the Rainbow Center to say, if the resource isn't here, we need to find it mm -hmm. and those, bring it. Those phones and, are still ringing. And, and the, so that's, that's, I think, been pretty much been the history of the Rainbow Center is if there was a resource we'll put you in touch with it and work with them. If there isn't one we'll find it and bring it. And so um, up till today and my partner Rudy and I find ourselves as you know very much in need of resources with his having a stroke and having um, medical problems of many kinds, uh, and you have brought us the resources that we badly needed. So, joining the Rainbow Center was a really good idea, but I saw the Rainbow Center as a catalyst for actually building a community because there were a lot of gay and lesbian people living in Pierce County, but we really didn't have a community that I could see at any rate. 
And I thought that was an opportunity to, to build community. And I think that's what it has done and has, has become. It is the catalyst. From, refer, from Proposition 1 here in Tacoma, Referendum 71, every step uh, of our civil rights movement and keeping Oasis alive and moving forward now, that's been with the Rainbow Center, kind of the center of bringing it all together. And uh, as you say, 8,000 people show up this year for our Pride Festival. That's a pretty good growth from 300 people in 1998, uh, or whatever year that was. So I think it has been a catalyst for building community. We do have a community. We have openly gay council member on the city council. We have a, a lesbian representative from, from my legislative district. Um, it has been amazing to me how you know, it, it seems like a long time when you talk about the length of time, but I mean, that is really pretty rapid growth. Absolutely. For a, a community to come together and mature. It's all thanks to the work of people just like you, John. Well, if I had a part, I'm proud. Thank you so much. So now's the time to raise your paddle. So now's the time to raise your paddles. And I would just like to say that I am really, really sorry that Rudy and I can't be at the game up this year to join you and all the wonderful people in our community.